remake versus it's a series about taking an original film and facing it off against a remake film and i thought this was a totally original idea till i decided to look it up on youtube and it had already been a thing for years but despite this i still want to make a series out of it so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the series because why not Now one thing I want to mention right off the bat is I've watched the remake first in the original so it's going to be interesting going back and watching the original for the first time because I'm assuming it's not like the remake where it's just super boring and slow. Uh, what's funny is that the original is a bit longer. The runtime is a bit longer despite the remake being like 15 minutes shorter it feels long. So in the original I was watching okay this film's a bit longer hopefully it's better. And one thing I noticed immediately is that the first 20 minutes is basically the plot of the remake. I was like oh shit so what's going to happen throughout the rest of the film. The opening 20 minutes is just all of the remake and whatnot. So we're actually that it turns with like a crime thriller-esque like stalker film where the killer is stalking this lady he keeps going to her house he even breaks it into it at one point and whatnot she you know she's not being smart about it she keeps going out start drinking to the same bar that he keeps stalking her at she always forgets to lock up her door or whatnot but then there's also this sizer with this cop guy this detective who's set on killing this man because he's killed children these two children and he feels some sort of guilt or feels like you know what it's his duty his job to kill this creep so i was like okay this is kind of a cool take i was expecting this because of the remake i thought this was going to take place one location and like gonna have a bunch of calls but no all right so the film he keeps going back to this lady until he eventually budges out and one because the cop guy finds him he's a homeless creep by the way i was like is he homeless he is he's a one homeless creep this is the film this cop guy he's trying to find him this goddamn detective one thing they do play in is that he's on a heavier side he's very heavy set so he starts chasing him he slows down because of its heavy set i just thought that was you know interesting little like not nod but like they definitely lean on to that just like the film him running be like him being tired not being able to chase his killer or this homeless creepy guy because homeless and skinny as hell and whatnot and so find him whatnot there's a scene of this guy who's killed his kids and whatnot uh, his face he like gets naked and whatnot and the facial expression and acting on his in this actor's face is just playing guilt and plot similar to like maniac where our serial killer or slasher killer or villain he's like feeling guilty but enjoys what he's doing he's sick in his head he's messed up in his head and whatnot so again i like that aspect but again they don't lean on it too much because most of the film is a lot of him trying to go after this lady who clearly doesn't want him and this cop guy trying to find him throughout the whole film and so near the end of the film he goes after this family he like calls her, this couple they're having dinner and whatnot he like calls her be like have you checked the children and whatnot by the way when he says that the first time immediately i was like oh this is kind of creepy now eventually like, to this lady's house there is this creepy ass thing he's like sleeping next to her like she thinks he's in a closet going through like the door turns out he is right next to the girl and he killed her husband I thought that was a really creepy aspect. I was like, oh shit, get the hell out of bed, lady. He almost kills her and chokes her out until the cop comes by and actually kills him with two shots. He almost shoots him in his head, but it's like, nah, forget it. He's already dead, presumably. And I think that's what the film ends. Here's the thing about this film it's okay. It's like, oh no, I was just expecting this move to be better. It is in many ways, but the film as a whole is kind of boring as well. It's okay. Like, I was not expecting the crime procedural stalker esque creepy guy thing to be the most of this film. The first 20 minutes, I thought was the whole film of the original, but then that was wrapped up. I was like, oh, Oh shit, so what's this film gonna be about? Like, I was a bit confused, but also excited. Like, it's something new, it's not gonna be boring, and it kind of is boring, but also interesting as well. A creepy stalker running away from cops, cops are angry that they can't get to him. He wants to kill this man, he eventually does. And it's like, I like what this film's doing, it's just getting there was not the best way, in my opinion. So, yeah, when a stranger calls 1979, just okay, sadly. It's just okay. So then the remake, the 2006 remake, man, this is my previous video, and in the original, this is 20 minutes. The first, it's like a 20 minute cold open. The remake takes that and makes it a whole movie which now makes a lot more sense than when i watched the original because they're stretching out that 20 first 20 minutes in this remake and again, like i said the runtime for the original is 10 to 15 minutes longer this the remake runtime is like an hour 21 minute it's like 10 to 15 minutes shorter feels much longer jesus christ Christ. It just feels like you're just watching this baby shooter Joe go on, walking around his large house, getting jump scares and whatnot. It's so boring to watch. Drama high school BS with Katie Cassidy's character and a boyfriend that we don't even see it one. He goes to the house, kids are asleep, she does her homework, a lot of weird home phone calls. Not immediately have we checked the children yet. That's like near the end, by the way. Until he actually says that, they drag that out as well. And so the majority of the calls are him like huffing and not saying anything. It's like, okay, this is kind of getting nowhere. There's like that ice, the fridge ice scene, which I thought was, you know, cool, like shot, shot 
Scott remake, I guess. She means like the Rosa character, you know, she's cool as well. Big Hell looks nice. Alright, it looks nice, but the core of the movie, they're dragging this out. It makes a lot more sense now. I wish I would have that in my 15 years later video, but yeah, it makes a lot more sense now that they just dragged this out. I don't know why. Granted, I like it because I wasn't expecting the whole procedural stalker stuff. I was like, interesting take, but I ain't got much to say about it. What I guess I do like is the killer, his face hitting in the shadow. Like, we don't see him until the end. Guy calling for the phone, but we actually do see him fighting Jill. He, his face is actually covered until the very end. I do like that. The guy is just a shadow. Like, he is a faceless killer film. But again, getting there, kind of like with the original, kind of rough. It's kind of boring. So, the winner stretcher calls the remake. That's okay as well. So, I don't know which one is going to win because both films, I think they kind of do the same sort of issue where they like, they have cool concepts, but getting to the end of each of both of the films are kind of rough to get through because both are so more boring. The, the remake is a lot more boringer. A boringer? That is make a board. Is the boringness? Is that even a word as well? I'm just making a board on the spot. And the remake deals with the whole plot of the remake 21st 20 minutes cold opening and then we see the after effects of the cops not fear but being angry that they can't catch this guy this guy is going around stalking on ladies or whatnot him his homeless black friend i forgot to mention that in the original section i like his home black friend he helps the cop guy he's a very charismatic like homeless person for being homeless but i do like him a lot but i don't know i guess objectively speaking when a stranger calls 1979 beats out and wins over 2006 remake just by a bit not by a whole lot right because both films do the same tech well not narrative wise but like getting there wise it's just kind of rough to get there i did not expect the whole again cop thing and the stocky thing so i guess i like the original a bit more just a bit more though it did the remake just like a tiny bit like a, like a couple inches basically and that's about it all right both films to me are kind of the same in terms of they're okay as i said earlier and they do not do much for me they, i think that's what it is these two they do not they don't do much for me so the 1979 version the original beats out the remake just by enough well there's nothing you can do about it down here have you checked the Why haven't you checked the children? And the terror just begins when a stranger calls. So, second episode, I don't know when the third episode is because I'm recording this kind of earlier than I should be. So, I'll get back to you on that. But next video should be Bond. Yes. So, the next video should be another Roger Moore Bomb. Talking about the Roger Moore film. So, or Bomb film. So, this has been the road so far. And thank you for watching. <laughs>